Hello and welcome. I'm bringing you another tactic. This is for the Battle of Kure, which is a historical battle. Um, I've found that it's really hard to play as the Roman factions. I've noticed that the horse horse archers and cav factions in this have very large dominance. I'm playing for the Scipii Romans. My ally is playing as the Brutii. Um, the nearest enemy is the Armenians. They have mainly infantry, some bit of heavy cav and some war elephants. Or well, mercenary war elephants, so similar equivalent to war elephants, I believe, mercenaries are. On the other hand though, this army is entirely cav. They have five units of horse archers, one of them's near a mountain out of sight for the moment. Um, armoured Eastern General, three units of cataphract, and a few missile troops with one unit of Eastern Infantry. So, me and my ally, my ally suggested to me to garp into the steel units. And it actually is, it pays off, it actually is what wins us this battle. So the idea is that you defend this little bit of hill, and it defeats the ho their horse advantage. Because they'll have to go uphill, it will defeat their mobility, as well as their horse archer's ability to be able to fire on our men. Because they'll be firing up the hill, if our men have their shields out on the front, the arrows will be hitting the exact front of the shields instead of going above them or in any other direction. If they try and go above them, the arrows just fly over the hill and just miss them completely. So that's the theory anyway. Um, I have most of the cows, whilst my ally has lots of the infantry. I have a bit of infantry, but for example, I only have one legionary unit. I have auxilia and two units of auxilia archers, and the rest of it's cav. <laughs> and to be fair, not the greatest cav in the world either. Two units of barbarian cav, I think. Two units of praetorian, and my general unit. So it's not exactly the greatest cav either. It does come in handy a bit, but I prefer to exchange that in for four legionary units. Anyway, so the Armenian enemy has decided he wants to swing around his light Arab cav and his mercenary war elephants. And there's a screening movement, he's moving forward his archers. I believe the idea is that we concentrate on the archers whilst he moves around his war elephants and light cav. It does work. It works really well in fact actually. We don't notice the war elephants or Arab cav at all. Even though it looks so obvious now, we didn't notice them at all because we're concentrating on the Parthians. And we're we were, just, we were trying to decide whether we should go for the Armenians because the Parthians are so far away but decided against it because we'd lose our hill advantage and then the Parthian horse cab will probably rip us apart so we decided to keep our ground, stay where we are might be camping but you're not going to win the battle without it you are just going to lose tragically there's no way to kind of win it without doing that so the game was paused, that's how my men all moved all in one rush. Um, because one of us had to, I can't remember what he, he said it was work. Um, it was about on for about five minutes, and uh, that's when I noticed these lot. If it weren't for the pause, I probably wouldn't notice these lot until it was too late. So thanks for that pause, we managed to notice this unit which is coming around the flank. So I've remobilised my, basically my entire army, apart from some light auxilia and some auxilia archers. Because I'm not really worried about the Armenians, because they seem to be taking it quite passively. And I think he's expecting his mercenary war elephants to be like armoured war elephants instead of just normal war elephants. I think he's expecting them to you know, just slaughter through here. And it's actually, they're surprisingly easy. I mean, they could have killed about 40 men, and for elephants, it's pretty pathetic. So I'm just giving you a bit of a overview of the line, just what the lines are like. There's my auxiliary archers, there's my allies legionaries, some more of his allies units and our, my units of cav. A few more. He's decided to give me his um, auxilia for this, his normal auxilia, which is spearmen, all three units, because at the moment our war the war elephants are primary threat because the two enemy armies are miles away, so they're not much of a threat. But these war elephants, these light cav, if left unchecked and the battle starts, they're, we're just going to get slaughtered. And I think that's the idea. I think, I'm not sure, it might be just micromanagement error, but he moves around very slowly. And if he wanted to try and do a hit and run, he, I would have gone around a bit faster. But I think his idea was that we'd be all concentrating back there, 
and looked like it was gonna, their armies were moving up, but it didn't work like that because my ally was looking at the front, and I was just everyone thought I was just saying move the unit auxiliar up or so forth. Um, I'm not quite sure why I put these men to pseudo. I think it's because we're on restricted camera, and from a distance those Arab cav because they have that green thing. I thought they were horse archers, and I was worried about losing legionary serum. But now it was on free cam. I now know that they were just light cav, but from a distance they do look like one of those mercenary horse archers. So I was didn't want to lose any legionaries to them because they're really hard to catch. So I would have just had to wear them down by running after them. And eventually just got them. I don't like doing that. So I decided to move them into that. Hopefully they'll here try and get a bit too close and then my cav could go in. Because I didn't need to do any of that. They weren't even horse archers. So I kind of wasted a bit of my time. But still, it was definitely... I can't believe how much attention these two units got. They really, really get so much attention. I mean, I basically moved my entire army back. And he moved part of his. <laughs> just to deal with... But there's war elephants. We, I think both of us, uh, me and my ally and these two enemies, I think we both completely overestimated them. I mean, we were expecting them to rip through our lines. That's why we moved so much back. I mean, I was expecting them to just mow down. I don't know what my ally was expecting them, but I think he was expecting somewhere near the same amount. So this is our forward party we sent forward. Three units of auxiliary archers, just normally three of them, and two units of archer auxiliary. Um, we decided to do this because we didn't want to move our really powerful units. We wanted to just to try and provoke them forward. And it did work because we managed to move just into a line of arrows. So decided I, I really wanted those elephants to charge into these light of the Because there's like 400 of them because it's on huge scale. And I know that 400, 400 spearmen are definitely going to beat that many elephants, even if they are elephants. There's only war elephants, they're not the armoured. They're armoured, whole different story. But So I put my arrows on fire and let loose a volley. And this does provoke them completely. Moment first arrow hits, they get completely provoked and charge. I think that was a bit premature. If I was him, I would have moved my elephants out of range and drawn away our front fo forward unit a bit more. Because give you a bit of an overview view here which is the battle it's because we just flood in these cav absolutely i was a bit amateur here because i sent two units of cav barbarian cav and roman cav against these elephants and that's i just don't know i've really done it but i was worried that they'd break through the line because of the way they're going about it i thought they'd break through the line and go for the rest of our line so obviously i've sent around my cav and then I quickly pull him back, realizing my mistake. And these elephants do do uh, quite a lot of damage, and they just run away like that. <laughs> um, at this point, it's kind of like just herding some sort of livestock here. So we're sort of like we're sort of like chasing them out of our lines, which is quite funny because we've got all our men chasing behind them. And I see my pseudo formation. I'm quite worried that the elephants just going to roam through them because um, even on when they're routing, they do do damage. So sort of like trying to force them out. Now as you can see they've moved up their army. Um again quite slowly. So at this point we're starting to fire fire arrows at them. Because the idea is that we're gonna make them go on rampage to behind their lines, so we better start now before they get out of range. So my archers are starting to shoot those cataphracts. I didn't tell them to this is that auto fire and I would I don't know why I decided to shoot a cataphracts, the most heavily armoured unit on the game, basically. Um, it's pretty much impregnable to arrows. It's pretty much a waste. But this is an early engagement, as you can see. Those are Cretan archers. Um, my archers managed to defeat them because of the hill advantage. Uh, the range is absolutely massive to be on a hill. So the battle has truly started now. He's charged his cataphracts into there. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the distance. The elephants have gone on rampage. It was annoying they went on rampage there. I was hoping they'd get a bit further back, but they started going on rampage then. So my elephant. So the enemy just quickly killed them. I think you can see in the distance they start to just die. There you go. Dead. Uh, I was annoyed about that because the whole idea of moving those elephants around was to do that. So I'm charging my cav into their um, ranged units because I, I don't want them putting too much pressure on my archers and auxilia. 
So I've charged them in and they start to run w- run away, which is what I want them to do. And now the battle here isn't going very well. As you can see from the cataphracts, they're dead, dead cataphracts. They're pushing up and they've managed to get onto equal height. And that's one of the worst things that could happen. So I'm concentrating on that battle, not noticing these lot, which are kind of getting to nailed by arrows. So I'm sending in some reinforcements, Cav. But the line's just getting pushed further and further back. And if he goes back, and I knew if he goes back a bit too further, he's going to have a small hit advantage. And that's going to just ruin the whole entire thing. Because at this point, it was neck and neck. And I don't know if you can see, but just over here, um, he started to attack my line. Uh, so he's putting pressure on both of us. So I couldn't send that many reinforcements. But I don't know why, but he ran away with my general and Roman Cav charged at him. I'm not quite sure why he did that. They're not in that. So I had some Roman cavalry. So I sent them around the back of the cataphracts. And this managed to route them. So we broke through on their left bank first. His general, I think. And then my cav came around the v- back of the right hand side of the cataphracts. And managed to win that. So I think it's a bit of a desperation now. Because he doesn't want to lose his progress. So he's charging up his general now. His armoured. But then. I think he noticed his micromanagement error there and pulls him back down the hill, which is the good thing to do. Um, he doesn't pull him all the way down, so he can still charge back up. And he's concentrating all his archer fire onto this bit here. And it's really clever what he's done. Because finally, his or- horse archers are actually coming into play here. I mean, they had been firing before, but it's been pathetic, really pathetic. But now they're starting to get shots on our Roman legionaries' heads whilst we're in battle. And we were and my allies then were kinda getting massacred. And I didn't want I couldn't send any units to help him because they all mine were engaged. Uh, I, it was just really frustrating because I saw his line was getting pushed back because it was because those units here, they were just murdering the Roman legionaries. There's n- nothing my me or my ally could do about it. But then that's the pivotal point. We killed our general on the, this side. After that, his men just the Armenian army just started to rout like hell. First with this unit over here, and then my ally swings around his general to the back of them. That's quickly over. I was quite happy we didn't, I didn't lose my general because my general was in combat with his pikes, and I was worried that I was going to lose mine. There's a bit of a view of the slaughter. As you can see, most of the action took place in that bit. Not really much on my side, because the Armenian army... I don't know, he's very passive. And then most of his army routed when he did finally move them in, so I didn't really get much chance to fight there. So, surrounding his general now, I'm sending in some of my free, now free Roman cav. And the battle's just at Tsar still, somehow favouring him. I'm not quite sure why. I mean, these, e- Roman, these Eastern armoured generals must be something... Pretty nice. I mean, victory is distant possibility. How did it work that out? <laughs> I remember him like four to one. Anyway, um, but then his general gets killed, and this is really when the entire battle just changes for the worst for them. Both their generals are dead, so both their armies are just magically routing. We're moving down on all fronts now. We've given up our hill position and starting to move down. And his army's <laughs> his army's routing before they even get into combat, so he's made defeat now. That's the Parthian general. All we've got left is the remains of the Armenian army, which is basically a shabble of eastern infantry, which are light infantry, and a unit of archers, really. So at this point, I know we've won, but Titan doesn't want to be defeated. So I've got my archers hitting his men for a bit, because it's too auxiliary, they must think they're sort of like, they must think they're legends, because they're trying to take on the entire arch unit, but my cav are now charging, and at that, then, then it's just, it's just slaughter, it's Roman, it's Roman cav versus a bunch of depleted, morally, archers, so the last unit that's finally routed, here's this nice picture of the dead elephant, and it's, uh, you can't expect to get a heroic victory out of this. Um, and as you can see, I managed to win, uh, get most of my kills by six kills. So, quite surprised we actually won that though, because generally the horse archers get the most amount of 
victories over here. Especially on desert open terrain, horse archers. That's that's where they are really powerful. Uh, much space. Thanks to all the players in the game. Uh, subscribe, rate, and comment for more.